related with economy as well as security. Within the framework of fight against uh, COVID-19, we have been taking measures gradually. And the re most recent measure was about sealing off 30 uh, greater cities of our country and uh, Zonguldak province. And there have been uh, restrictions applied. And the curfew, as you know, uh, has been in practice for the citizens over the age of 65. And we have expanded the scope of it to cover uh, the citizens under the age of 20. And in the uh, places, in the marketplaces, uh, we have made it compulsory uh, for everyone to wear a face mask. And in the marketplaces, we have also made certain regulations uh, uh, address the issue sensitively in order to keep uh, the um, stands, the booths, separate from one another and local authorities as well as the governor's office will follow the practices and uh, we have started distributing uh, face masks uh, free of charge uh, through uh, PTT uh, postal service of uh, Turkey and other uh, relevant authorities. I would like to reiterate uh, once again that uh, it is not allowed for people uh, to uh, sell those masks uh, and uh, the masks will be distributed free of charge and we have enough stockpile uh, for masks and other uh, supplies necessary and the state uh, authorities will uh, be distributing those masks to our citizens uh, free of charge and we're determined uh, to do so and the citizens who have uh, to leave home uh, for their fundamental needs uh, need to pay attention to keep uh, distant from one another at least one or uh, three uh, steps away from one another. We need to be very careful about social uh, distancing. In every uh, city uh, we have a provincial uh, pandemic uh, councils and other relevant boards and they will, if necessary, take some additional uh, pr uh, measures. Uh, the streets, buildings, uh, villages, uh, streets, districts, uh, or uh, some even larger areas that might uh, pose risk uh, will be taken under quarantine uh, totally. And the citizens over the age of 65, uh, as you know, have been uh, staying home uh, due to uh, in pertain, uh, pertaining to the uh, curfew, and we have uh, created so social uh, support and relief uh, teams uh, for their help. And through our teams, we have delivered help uh, to the citizens over the age of 65 and those with chronic diseases. Uh, uh, up to 1.3 million uh, people's needs uh, have been met uh, so far. And for the students, uh, the teaching uh, the education, as you know, has been uh, ongoing through distant uh, learning. All the citizens, other than those working and uh, those who are in public uh, duties, uh, should uh, stay at home. And we are determined to reduce the uh, mobility of people to the minimum level. And that is how, uh, and thereon, we will uh, reduce uh, the mobility, uh, slow down the spread uh, of uh, the uh, disease and stop it uh, completely. And uh, we have uh, stepped over an important uh, threshold in terms of the number of the tests conducted at our hospitals. We do not have any difficulty in terms of uh, diagnosis and treatment. In terms of health services and uh, providing uh, of uh, medical supplies, and as well for uh, public safety and security, uh, thank God we have not uh, faced any serious issue. Meanwhile, uh, Yeshilköy Atatürk uh, Airport uh, complex and the premises. This area uh, is uh, in is now being studied uh, for a project, and the area where the Sanjaktepe uh, Airport is 
is again uh, being prepared uh, for a hospital complex. Uh, so these uh, two areas uh, rapidly in 45 days approximately will be uh, prepared uh, for uh, the services uh, of our people. We will be opening, it, uh, opening those uh, both locations uh, for uh, uh, our people. And uh, every passing day uh, shows how great the problem is and how important uh, all the measures uh, taken so far are. And uh, we know uh, that we need to keep a close track on all the developments, all the developments unfolding both in Europe and in the USA. Those tested positive for COVID-19 and those who infected the others, of course, most of them uh, were related uh, with uh, those who traveled across uh, those countries and it is because those countries did not uh, take uh, the relevant uh, and required uh, measures the infection has uh, spread uh, much more and if those countries had uh, taken the necessary measures we uh, would have been at a better position now but uh, after this uh, point uh, Turkey uh, of course is uh, acting rapidly uh, cautiously uh, and effectively and Turkey is in a very good position in terms of all the issues related and states are necessary especially during such challenging times and, and the Turkish state stands with its people, all uh, 83 million people of this uh, country. And our nation has uh, portrayed a solidarity, a unity, uh, and I would like to extend my gratitude uh, to uh, our people. During uh, the independence of war, uh, the orders of uh, uh, tax liabilities um, as you know, it was uh, published, and uh, the uh, national liabilities orders instructions need to be uh, uh, reminded. In each city and district, it was ordered uh, to establish uh, a national liability uh, commission. Uh, to every household was uh, uh, liable to prepare uh, shoes, uh, socks, and other personal uh, wear uh, uh, for the uh, citizens at war. And uh, certain uh, properties uh, were going to be confiscated. A certain portion of uh, food material supplies uh, also was going to be uh, confiscated. All the uh, producers, uh, industrial uh, sites, uh, locksmiths, uh, and uh, ironsmiths, and every uh, one was going to be working for the uh, army. The transportation uh, means were going to be put in use. And uh, all the unowned uh, properties were going to be uh, confiscated. All the weapons uh, held personally uh, by the people uh, were going to be uh, uh, delivered to the army. And uh, all uh, the uh, carriages uh, and uh, carriages uh, by 20 uh, percent uh, were going to be again uh, uh, delivered for the uh, services of the army and the state authorities. As you know, during the independence war of our country, uh, our state and our people, our nation, uh, stood together uh, to uh, overcome the uh, challenges. And uh, right now, again, uh, everyone is in mobilization. mobilization. Uh, our state authorities as well. Even though there are some who find it difficult and are unable to grasp uh, the size and the scope of uh, uh, this uh, pandemic, our nation and our state will uh, stand together uh, to overcome the challenge. Of course, not only certain material means, but also determination and optimism uh, is needed uh, to uh, tackle the difficulty. And we are taking all the measures accordingly and put them in practice, uh, fulfill the, uh, them.
In terms of um, accessing the fundamental needs and supplies for our citizens, we are uh, doing whatever necessary. Uh, that is why uh, there are also some uh, uh, enterprises uh, who are uh, going to benefit from short time uh, employment uh, uh, tariffs, and they will also be supported uh, with uh, tax uh, exemptions and postponements. Uh, there are certain enterprises uh, who uh, are now uh, who have paused their activities or stopped uh, for a certain period, and um, two thirds of their expenses will be met by uh, the state, and uh, these payments will be uh, transferred to the accounts of the employees uh, directly uh, transacted, and we will be uh, also. Um, postponing the uh, payments of taxes for the taxpayers uh, by six uh, months, those who are paying taxes and who the, 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 those who have offset costs and whatsoever. And the credit uh, loans, the, uh, the loan uh, payments also uh, will uh, be um, d d postponed for another three months for many, and our public banks will be offering many, many means uh, to their clients, uh, and the loan uh, repayment uh, term will be uh, extended uh, up to uh, 90 days. Our finances will also be supported and they will be receiving certain incentives and the uh, credit uh, guarantee funds uh, capacity has been uh, ex uh, Expanded. And we also uh, will not be making any cuts uh, on the uh, taxes levied on the municipalities, and they have now been supported by an additional 3 billion liras. And uh, all these uh, facilities uh, in done in the field of repayments, reimbursements, and other things, uh, we will uh, be bringing in certain new uh, measures. And uh, uh, 36,000 enterprises uh, now uh, will uh, have a chance uh, to postpone their uh, bank loan. Uh, payments uh, for another three uh, months, and COSGEP will be uh, bearing the burden, and uh, the pensioners uh, will uh, be receiving at least 1,500 liras, and uh, now they're at ease. Uh, and we know that we have uh, 2.1 uh, families with low income, and uh, we have uh, allocated a resource of uh, uh, two uh, billion uh, for them, and we will be distributing uh, relief aid uh, for another two uh, million households. And those uh, citizens who do not have any income, I would like to make a call on to them. Uh, they may make an application uh, to the local administrative bodies or the local uh, governor's offices, or you may also make your applications uh, through the electronic uh, settings uh, and make an application uh, through e-state uh, facilities of our country, and uh, when you do so, uh, you uh, will have a chance to receive cer certain amount of relief. And uh, we know that we are self-sufficient, and uh, every citizen who is in need should not refrain uh, from asking uh, for help uh, from uh, his or her state. And uh, this all shows how uh, on how solid grounds that our state uh, stands. So far, the amount uh, collected in the campaign uh, accounts uh, has come to a figure of 1.5 billion and uh, as through SMS uh, we also received a lot of donations uh, which is worth of 4.5 million and uh, at AK Party organizations uh, we have uh, collected about 5 million uh, liras and uh, these amounts will be transferred to the main account 
and I would like to thank uh, to each and every citizen, each and every institution uh, of our country uh, for their donations, for, uh, and um, I would like to uh, once again uh, make a call on uh, to all the other citizens who are willing to support, who are uh, willing to contribute to the campaign, all the philanthropists, all the other institutions and companies. We are running all the activities in line with the decrees of the presidency and also uh, the uh, reg leg legal uh, reg regulations, and we uh, do put them in effect in forms of uh, laws. And during our Ministry of Cabinet uh, meetings, we uh, elaborate on the issues, and we ha uh, have been working on a law a draft, and we will be submitting it for the approval of the uh, Assembly. And uh, the uh, regulation uh, for uh, the ones at the correctional houses will uh, be uh, discussed as of uh, tomorrow, and we will have uh, certain changes in the structures of two uh, bodies of uh, this state. The ministry uh, of uh, the board, we will be establishing certain ministries for health and social policies. Uh, previously, health and food was in the same board, and social policies board was working separately, uh, but they will be uh, cooperating uh, more and we will be establishing more councils and uh, boards. And uh, we uh, know that we are going through a process which seem maybe like uh, a challenge, an evil, uh, an evil like challenge, but uh, there is, of course, uh, a benefit to take from everything uh, and uh, learn lessons. And we know that uh, this is uh, uh, not any more the time for those who try to uh, use it to their own personal interests. And we know that uh, the economy is not only of uh, speculations or interest rates or uh, certain other things, but the main, the essential thing here is equal distribution. Uh, the political, economic, and social relations will uh, be redefined in this new uh, era. And in this uh, new era, during this uh, new era to come, uh, we uh, will, of course, be uh, abiding by the principle uh, of making the people live so the state lives, in, lives on. And this principle will be uh, much more well uh, established. Uh, and during uh, our office, of course, we paid attention to the uh, democracy and uh, economy-related uh, developments of AK Party, from education to health, from uh, energy to agriculture, in every uh, field, we have uh, built a strong infrastructure, and we are at the threshold of a new era to come during which we will be reaping the fruits uh, of uh, our previous work. And we have the means and the opportunities to come and arrive at a better position. For that reason, we need to uh, try our best to leave this challenging period with the least amount of uh, harm to come our way and uh, overcome this difficulty, uh, that uh, predicament, in the fastest way possible. Of course, on a standalone basis or on our own, we cannot curb this outbreak. Uh, we need to work with the other uh, as in this geography, and we uh, need to solve this problem uh, across uh, this l large geography. The, addition, the measures we have taken so far and the additional measures to come, all these, uh, thanks to all these and in cooperation with Europe and uh, the Americas, we uh, hopefully will overcome that uh, difficulty, but the uh, main struggle will start after the uh, pandemic. This is why we underline the importance of production. Uh, every functional uh, facility will continue to produce, and our farmers will not leave any inch of uh, soil that is not 
plow. And our services sector will keep uh, its uh, connections both within and outside the country active and uh, fully functional. And in this new world order, we will work uh, all together again. We will not only compensate and make up for, for the losses uh, during uh, the um, outbreak, but we will uh, also have uh, many more new developments uh, to come and leap even uh, forward, uh, further forward. And we uh, will be preserving our production, employment rates, uh, and industry, uh, infrastructure, uh, trade, and commercial activities. And in line with our targets to further strengthen all these fields, we will rapidly work. Uh, and uh, during that time, of course, we will need to help uh, the skills, the courage, uh, hard uh, uh, working efforts uh, of all uh, citizens, each and every citizen, in particular uh, the energy uh, of our young people from the artisans uh, to the uh, crafts uh, people uh, to the industrialists and everyone uh, in the process should be ready uh, for this new era. Uh, to come uh, to prevent the further spread of the um, disease uh, we uh, will stay at home and uh, uh, we will use our energy accumulated during the time we uh, stay at home will be put in use for better uh, ends and we have uh, over uh, uh, come all these uh, similar difficulties uh, before, uh, thanks to the help and the support of our people, our nation, and we will again in this new era uh, construct uh, the new things uh, with the help, uh, with the support of our um, citizens. Uh, before I conclude, I would like to uh, wish for the uh, mercy of God on those who lost their lives due to COVID-19 and convey my condolences uh, to their families. I would like to use this opportunity to thank uh, to all uh, those uh, who uh, worked uh, hardest uh, during that period, uh, the uh, health uh, workers and all uh, the ones in the services uh, sectors. May God be with us all. Uh, thank you all very much.